So Black Widow just came out, and due to the fact that I didn't want to become a victim to spoilers on TikTok, I decided to watch it. Honestly, I thought the plot was a little old. Oh, hot main character with traumatic backstory. Oh no, evil villain who's about to conquer the world. Oh, hot main character gets punched a lot but always comes out perfectly fine. And oh look, hot main character defeats evil and dramatic music plays at the end. Okay, so Scarlett Johansson does circuit training, so I'm just gonna do an hour of just randomly jumping around. But she also incorporates other stuff like weightlifting and gymnastics, so I'm gonna see if I can get in weight weightlifting today. Hopefully I won't die. Let's go. I was too shy. Man, they probably laugh at the thought. I shrug it off and keep sipping on the drinks that I bought. Fake ID, drinking in the sand, trying to act cool, but really I was terrified. I'll see you in 15 minutes. Okay, now I'm supposed to sprint for 20 seconds and jog 40, but as you can see, I have no jogging, running, walking space whatsoever. So I'm gonna do it in place. Okay, and now I have to do the actual circuit training. I can't even tell you how many movies Marvel has made with the same exact plot, but hey, I still enjoy them. And what I also enjoy is Scarlett Johansson, because she's just a badass, and I'm impressed with how they managed to come up with a new hairstyle for her in every movie. Okay, and now I have to repeat everything four times. So for this week, I decided to eat and exercise like Scarlett Johansson or the Black Widow. Okay, so that was brutal, but I'm not done. When Scarlett Johansson prepares for her movies, she often goes on a mostly vegan diet, so that's why unfortunately I can't have these glowing honey drumsticks and instead must have an entire plate of just veggies. Thankfully, my dad's cooking skill pulled through and these veggies still tasted alright. Scala also says that she does something called carb cycling, which is, in super simple terms, just sometimes eating a lot of carbs and sometimes not. So for dinner, I just had a whole giant plate of fried rice, which has quite some carbs, but then I also had it with some veggies for her vegan self. Anyways, I came up with this video idea because one of y'all suggested that I try and eat like one of my favorite actors. As all fellow YouTubers, I'm desperately low on video ideas, so your suggestions literally light up my day. Anyways, for breakfast the next day, I just had some peanut butter and banana toast, and normally I had honey, but I remember the last time I did a vegan video, I got roasted so hard about honey not being vegan, so here you go. So for Scarlett's Tuesday workout, she does, once again, another circuit, so I'll be doing that. And then for the little extra thing, I'll be doing yoga, if I have enough energy. Once again, we're gonna have a 15 minute warm up on the treadmill. Totally love running, my god. Alright, circuit time. After just two days of doing circuit training, I realized, wow, I hate this with a passion. This is really hard to do with one hand, but anyways, I'm gonna do some bicep curls before I die. Anyways, bye. Like, it's so repetitive, and you are guaranteed to be interrupted by annoying siblings. Why do you always come with zero sound? Okay, now I just have to do all of that two more times. Yoga time. So whenever people work out, they suddenly become self-love poets, so here's an inspirational quote. Stop procrastinating. Don't wait until the last day to do that tedious task. Because remember, love yourself. If you don't want to do it, then you don't have to leave it till tomorrow. You can just avoid it altogether. Oh, okay. <sighs> Finally done. Anyways, for lunch I continued her carb overload cycle, whatever. I honestly don't understand it entirely and may just be using this as an excuse to eat a ton of fried rice. So my dad made some pineapple fried rice and also unfortunately this coconut fried shrimp, which is everything but vegan. I mean, the fried rice and the shrimp just looked so heavenly and it smelled so, so good, but I had to give it up just for Scarlett Johansson, so I only ate the fried rice. But then I'm being such a big hypocrite because for dinner, I had a plate of veggies and a not very vegan fried egg. Basically, before you yell at me, my dad literally only made brown rice and cauliflower and there was no way I was going to be full from that, so I added on the egg. I need some of that energy to binge TV shows late at night, okay? Also, if you hate on me, I'll literally cry because I don't need even more negativity than this egg that is so severely overcooked. Okay, so my AP scores are out now and I will give you a reaction video. 
So basically, I was really dramatic because I got a ton of fours in that snazzy two, which is quite good, but colleges literally only give credit if you get fives, aka the only reason I took them in the first place. So that's why my teary eyes made me look like I just participated in a hot wings challenge. So while that was not the hottest way for me to start off my morning, for breakfast I had some more oatmeal because Scarlett personally said she enjoyed these non-processed whole raw foods such as the humble oats. Once again, running time. Here we go. So yeah, as you can see, Scarlett seems to always start with a 15 minute run for a warm up. And I, wait, we alert, there is a fly in my closet. There is a fly that I need to murder because it will probably crawl in my mouth while I sleep. Hold on. Okay, yeah, so as I was saying, I just don't think that running is something that should exist. Okay, now it's lifting time. And then here I tried stuffing my phone into my pants to record because I see people in gym, TikTok do it all the time. But um, yeah, these were the results. And now the time has finally come for me, the lazy Annie Fang, to finally do hip thrusts slightly less wrong than in my last video. You guys told me to use my bench instead of my super short mat, so here it is. I have zero doubts that I'm still doing 99% of it wrong, but hey, at least it hurts less now and I've yet to break my limbs. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, bye. For lunch, I literally almost felt like crying because my dad made this whole pork chop, but I couldn't eat it because it was nowhere near vegan. Instead, for that plant-based protein, I had to just have a ton of tofu. But it was around here that I realized, yo, I'm taking this too seriously. I can't just be making my already depressing life harder just for a challenge no one asked for. So from here on out, I gladly started flopping on the whole vegan thing. So afterwards, I went to the mall and had some very not vegan buttermilk espresso bread. And then I had a plate of Hawaiian mango chicken and sorry about the horrible filming. And now let me introduce you to Slate, a new and better chocolate milk. It has 20 grams of protein, zero grams of added sugar, and is 100% lactose free. Slate comes in three flavors, chocolate, dark chocolate, and the espresso chocolate milk that I'm having right now. It has 150 milligrams of caffeine, which is equivalent to two shots of espresso. So basically it can be an energy booster for anything and everything. Anyways, for breakfast the next morning, I had some avocado toast and you can't really tell on camera, or I guess you could say on my shaky iPhone 8 because I actually don't and have never used a camera because I think that thing is so chunky but yeah this avocado was absolutely enormous and i could spread out thick avocado slices on two pieces of bread so that was a steal always costco for the win then it was time for black widow workout time so here i'm starting off with a totally not getting super old 15 minute run and then the also totally not making me want to drop everything and just think about how pointless the meaning of life is because we are all just specks of dust on a floating rock and also why my whole purpose is to work hard to get into college and if i'm lucky cop a nine to five job that repeats itself every day circuit training okay and now doing that for the second time but i'm way too over this to show you so bye okay now for lunch i have some not vegan salmon because i wanted to eat without restriction because if you haven't noticed my youtube is not about hardcore challenges but more like how to mess around on the internet with the addition of some food anyways i also had it with some very green veggies and also some drumsticks that i couldn't have on one of the previous days Now I was still kind of hungry, so I once again pulled out Slate. Guys, this was so chocolatey and satisfying. If you love chocolate milk but are trying to cut the sugar, or if you're just looking for a delicious way to add protein to your diet, which I desperately need in my mostly vegan week, then you can chug a Slate today. Also, if you want, you can get 15% off your first order of Slate milk with the code ANNIE15. Then for dinner, I had a plate of a ton of tofu and also stir fry of some tomatoes, cucumbers, and scrambled eggs. Sorry I couldn't make anything crazy fancy, but I had to tutor this kid in literally like 5 minutes, so I basically inhaled all the food. The next morning, because Scott loves fresh fruit, I basically made an entire platter of, well, fresh fruit. So here I have literally one of the juiciest mangoes, cherries, blueberries, and I also added some cashews because this is a free country and I can do whatever I want. This is the last time doing this, but another 15 minute run. Woo! I hate running with a passion. Aside from running, Scarlett also does a lot of other exercises, aka that horrible circuit training, but hey, I just wasn't feeling it this day, so I decided to give myself a break, be lazy, and not do it. Then for lunch, my dad cooked up literal steak, which is quite a stretch from Scarlett's diet, so while I basically gave up on her vegan diet, you can also consider that, hey, Scarlett said she also has cheat meals sometimes, so this can count. Also, I had it with some avocado and veggies on the side. 
Anyways, then I went out and bought some pineapple bread from 85 degrees. The sides were kind of plain, but the inside was hella bomb, you know, just like me. And then I went to Din Tai Fung, which is basically this really hyped Asian restaurant famous for their Xiaolong Bao and dumplings. So we got some spicy dumplings, some green beans just to not die from all the MSG, but don't be fooled, these green beans still pop off. Some spicy beef noodles, because if you watched me go to any restaurant with my family, you'll notice that my dad almost always orders a bowl of noodles. And here is their famous soup dumplings. Please eat it with a spoon rather than chopsticks or else you'll also lose all of that famous soup. And then I also had their veggie and mushroom dumplings, which were good, but mediocre compared to the meat ones. And as the final dessert, we ordered some chocolate dumplings, which are just oozing with dark chocolate. Okay, so ignore the mess, but now I'm gonna name this section Annie tries random things off the internet. Okay, and then I waited until nighttime to film my review of this starlight projector. And there's a little remote that goes with it, and I'll show you how it works. And as you can see, I have it set on blue right now, but I can also set it to other colors. Green for Christmas vibe, and the colors can also change by themselves. Oh, and by the way, the projector is from the brand Gohyo on Amazon, and it's literally only 20 bucks, which I find insane. Okay, so wait, I'm literally in love with this projector. 10 out of 10. You can also play music via Bluetooth, but copyright. Okay, and the second random project is this plant stand from the brand Flurf, but my dad for some reason decided to check on roosters and nuncrackers and shoes, question mark. But anyway, 